Hey, what's good? It's your Barry Commenters, and I'm back with another tutorial. And today I'm finna teach you how to produce a hook. I'm saying so. This is what I have so far. Please don't mind. Don't mind. Oh yeah. Yeah. I came a long road. Now I'm standing on my feet. I can never let you bring me down. I came a long road. Now I'm standing on my feet. I can never let you bring me down. So first I'm finna show you like what I did so far. I didn't really do a lot, you know, just other tune, some EQs, some compressors. So let's go to 15. The first thing we have. Um we have the auto tune, the auto tune 8.1. Thanks to my nigga DJ Waze for like hooking me up with this auto tune. Why are you not opening son? Oh. Thanks to like DJ Waze for hooking me up with this auto tune eight point one. This is really great. It's According to me, it's better than Autotune ever. So this is what I have right now. Uh, it's on Alta Antenna. Uh, key it's F, scale it's minor. The reaching speed is zero. <laughs> sometimes it does, sometimes it sounds bad. You have to take it like 5, 20, like everywhere. But then right, this is just an example. So I'll put it at zero. But let me just put it at five. And then uh, next I have the EQ just to like re remove those unwanted frequencies. It, it's not really a lot. And then, sorry about that. There was someone by the window. So where was I? Yo, the EQ. I was I was moving some like un unwanted frequencies. That's why they were right here. And then this plugin, you know what this is. And then we go to the flang. I just put a little bit of flang on ten percent right here. And then. This compressor it failed here, so I had to remove it and put it back ahead again. This compressor I got it from my friend, also from DJ Way. Shout out to him. And then we go to the delay. I just like made like 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 tempo. Yeah, it like goes with the tempo. If I change the the the, the tempo here, even the, the the delay time will change. Then the reverb, obviously, you gotta have re re reverb. You, you gotta keep those vocals wet. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> So yeah, um, now let's play the vocal alone, and then we can add on that to show you like what more other other things you can do to make them sound better. Yeah. I came a long road, now I'm standing on my feet. I can never let you bring me down. I came a so fast where there's like a uh, high frequencies like. I came a long road now road and down and this one here you can see good the wave is like much higher than the rest so it means we must take it down right there take it down a notch i'm saying so we just have to cut here make you make unique you can just you can just decrease the like uh volume but i like to like use the oh damn i like to use the, the this volume here this one I go in on that, going in that, like, take it down. Take it down a little bit. I came a long road, now I'm standing on my f I came a long road. I came a long road, now I'm standing on my feet. I can never let you. So, yeah. And then after we go to. I let you bring me down. To down. You know, guys, like. If you if you really want to make the song sound sound better, you should, you should, like, do this always. You should just make sure the, like, volume is the same the whole song. To make it sound good. I let you bring me down. 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 I came alone, road. Now I'm standing on my feet. I let you. So I won't really do this a lot. I just wanted to like show you, you can like how you can make it sound 
sound sound sound the same you do that again go to volume and you go back to the vocal take it down a little bit I came my long road now I'm standing on my I came my long road now I came my long road now I'm standing on my feet Yeah I came my long road now I'm standing on my feet I can never let you bring me down so the other thing which I did here to like reduce the background noise, I came to the vocal here. I double, I double click the vocal and I right click and I go to edit in audio, in audio editor. Then I went there and then I like highlighted the part which is like uh, the voice is not there. It's like only the background noise. So like the program can like differentiate bit between what you wanna remove and what you wanna keep. And then I come here on this brush, I right click, I right click, and then it like acquired the noise profile, and then you select everything, and then you select everything, and then you go to the brush again, you just click accept, and then it's gonna just just render the whole vocal, remove all the background noise, and then make your vocals clean. So like yeah, let's let's go to the backups here. Yeah, let's go to the backup. I just I didn't, didn't really do a lot. I, I, I just copied all the presets and then put it in a, in, in a new mixer and increase the like re reverb because I wanted it to be more wetter. <laughs> I say so. So I, I just took the reverb up to 70%. On the on the main mixer, I, th I think it's uh, around twenty percent. Yeah, I just brought it to like uh, twenty twenty. You know what I'm saying. So what I suggest now, like when you produce your your songs, uh, when you want to produce the like backups, don't start from the beginning. Just copy what you did on the like main mixer and then go edit. So like uh, those like both vocals can like sound the same because you find you find out the like uh, main vocal, the like EQ is dope but then they're like a backup they're like eq is whack you know what i'm saying so you just try so hard to like make them sound the same you understand because this is a song this is, this is a professional song you must make it sound good you should it should stand out you know what i'm saying so yeah So this is just a backup. The both of them is sound like this. Never, never let you bring me down. Never, never let you bring me down. So I did these vocals, guys. Don't mind. Uh, this not, it's not my thing. I just wanted to like uh, make this video for you guys so you can learn. Now let's let's play it one more time and then we we'll wrap this video up. One bonus tip, like when you record your vocals, I was re I was recording on Mixer 10. One bonus tip, when you record your vocals, please don't leave the volume like up here, like up to, I think this is 100%. Please take it down around 80 or 75. Just to like avoid like your, your like microphone or your, your vocal to like clip, you know what I'm saying? That clip. So you can put it there and then the other thing is you should, you should like turn this playback off. You know, so like when you when you record, you won't hear yourself playing playing back on the headphones. So, yeah, I guess that's it, guys, for 
today's video i'll see you all guys tomorrow i'll be trying to i'll try so hard to like upload daily daily these days so yeah let's see what we'll bring tomorrow and, and again don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video and thanks you for and thank thank you for 2000 i think it's 2.18k subscribers right now so thank you guys very much for that if you didn't subscribe make sure you hit that subscribe button it's your barry commentals and i'll see you tomorrow